peace, peace, Ali, coming back at you on behalf of salimyers.com. All right, in this video, I want to talk about combining altars. I've gotten a number of messages and questions about I'm a husband, wife, team, or whatever, and we have our altars. How can we combine them? Or people that have roommates and they want to join their altars together. So I want to make this video to give you very simple instructions and clarity as far as combining your altar. Now, I do not suggest that if you have a mate or you have a husband or wife that you integrate your ancestors together on one altar. I do not recommend that. Obviously, you have free will. You can do whatever you like. But the whole thing with the ancestor altar is, is there to take care of your ancestors. So that's your direct bloodline. So and if you have a mate that is on the altar work, first off, commend your mate for being on the spiritual path. But if you want to combine your altar, what I've suggested for people in the past is you want to put your altars side by side. So instead of in integrating them together, having one altar from two different people, have your altar side by side. So you can have a his altar and her altar, or if you have roommates, whatever, altar A, altar B, and you can have them side by side, but they're still separated because they're their own altar. So that's what I recommend if you want to combine your altars. Do not integrate it. Just put them side by side and you can do your altar work together. So I just want to make a real quick video just to give you some clarity on how to combine your altars. If you want to find out more information about myself and what we do, be sure to visit my website, salimyers.com. If you need metaphysical supplies, altar supplies, all your spiritual tools, visit our online store, l9shop.com. That's E-L, the number nine, shop.com. This has been Ali. Until next time, peace.